Hey, welcome to another episode of Zippity's Garage. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Zippity Duda, and this YouTube channel is dedicated to the fun and games associated with being an automotive enthusiast. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and hit the bell notification so you know when a new video is uploaded. That really does help the channel. And please also comment down below. So today, I am out in Cherry Hill, New Jersey with my local Corvette club, the original Garden State Corvette Club, and we are out at Mall Chevrolet in Cherry Hill. So the Cherry Hill Mall is just over there on the horizon. You can see the big mall insignia here, and we have got an all General Motors car show here today, and I'm going to try and bring you as much of that coverage as I can. We've got probably about 100 cars here, but really, really cool cars, and I want to start out with a doozy. Look at this Pontiac Bonneville. This thing is gorgeous. 1958. Take a closer look at this thing. This thing is stunning. And to put it in perspective, you know, my Corvette fans, you know, imagine parking a 58 Corvette next to this. The 58 Corvette would go from the bumper to that rear wheel well. That's how long this Bonneville is. But my goodness, and the curved glass that goes around the wraparound windshield. So cool. Take a look at the interior of this thing. You know, the speckle and sparkle in the carpets, bench front, semi buckets in the rear. Thanks for bringing this thing out, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. So, capturing it on film today, and you know, that's at least a three or four body trunk, I would say. So, so <laughs> that's how they used to measure the trunks back then. But absolutely beautiful. Look at all the bright work and chrome work on this thing. It is stunning. So, such a cool, cool Pontiac. Right next to that, we've got a Camaro. 350 red with the racing stripes on it really really nice representation and this is trying to think a 68 so it's tough to tell the year without looking at the rear of the car because the the brake lights and reverse lights make a big difference but a beautiful beautiful red uh camaro automatic on it black interior a buddy of mine just picked up one of these i think his was a 67 that he got with a vinyl top and a burgundy body color but Beautiful car, man. Yeah, so a little bit smaller trunk on the Camaro versus the Bonneville. <laughs> then again, staying in some beautiful vintage cars, a 62 Corvette. If you've watched the channel before, you know my father used to have a 62, and I've mentioned this a number of times. The 62 Corvette is the only Corvette to have these metal fins in the cove. That's how you tell it to 62. So it's the only year to have those fins like that in the cove. But beautiful representation of a 62. Tuxedo black with a red interior. Again, look at the chrome work on it. Really, really nice. And he's from the Lakes Corvette Club. And we'll get into that in a minute here. But four speed on the floor, beautiful red interior. Great, great representation of what a 62 Corvette looks like. Now we're going to turn to a little bit more modern muscle. We've got a ZL1 Camaro here. Custom, all kinds of cool custom louvers on the side, on the rear. Those rocker panel extensions on it. And you can take a look at the customer or custom inside of the car. Really nice. And it's got the sunroof too. So I believe this is an 18, yeah, 2018 ZL1. And this has got the supercharged motor in it. So this is the 6.2 liter, so I believe it's considered an LT4. So it'd be the same motor that's in the Corvette Z06. And this has got the 10 speed automatic, which is really desirable in these cars. Makes it great for uh, drag racing and so forth. You got those nice consistent shift points and consistent times down the drag strip. So really nice job on the owner's representation of this ZL1. And then staying in the modern muscle, this car showed up. It was going to be parked towards the rear of the show. And we're like, no, no, this has got to come up front. This is the 70th anniversary uh, C8 Corvette. So this is done up in the white pearl metallic. Really, really cool color that they've never done on a Corvette before. And hopefully in the sun, some of that metallic is going to come through here on camera. But the closest thing I can tell you about this color, it's very similar to the white that Cadillac would put on the Escalades and so forth, but it's not that color. Um, it's its own color in its own right. And this is a pretty special one. Um, I'll let the owner know. He's got the edge red caliper on here. That is now on constraint. So if you were to order a new one of these, you would not get an edge red caliper. 
So talking to the owner right here, they are now offering this only in the bright red. It just so happens about how these things are built and the you know supply chain issues, the factory where they actually make the edge red caliper paint caught on fire. So that facility had a fire, so now these calipers are on constraint. So the only color you can get is the bright red, the torch red calipers. So five, 10 years from now, you're gonna have a really cool, unique cork uh, C8 because you have the true edge red calipers on the 70th. Pretty interesting fact, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so yeah, it's all the fun things you learn when you come out to these car shows. Sure but uh, do you mind if I open it? Fine. Excellent, excellent. So uh, carbon flash uh, on the sides, on the boomerangs. and. This is, a, this is the coupe, so you can see it's got the rear glass window, so you can see the motor. Whereas on the convertible, you know that you got that hard top that you can't see the motor. But the 70th anniversary edition pretty much had very limited options inside. Another cool option that he opted for here, he's got the stealth interior package, which um, this is no longer the bright aluminum. It's more of a uh, matte finish or darker aluminum. Really, really goes well with the black Alcantara. It's got the carbon fiber on the interior package. And the seats, again, really unique. And this is the GT2 seat with the white inside and the black bolsters with the red seat belts. That was pretty much your standard option. The only option you could have done would have been the competition seat, which would have flipped those two, where the black would have been the inside and the white would have been on the outside. But really, really gorgeous the way Chevrolet did this car with all the Alcantara in it. And this, this is a 3LT. And then the other cool thing is, You've also got the 70th anniversary there in between the speakers. And then also up here on the rear glass, it talks about the fact that it's the 70th anniversary. So thank you for bringing it out today. Best of luck to you guys and thanks for supporting the show. Thank you guys. And your son is over there. Yeah. Your son has one of the coolest cars and we've, he's actually won some trophies here as well and I, I will be sure to capture his car as well. Thank thanks. Thank yep. And then we've got Cherry Hill Police are out here today supporting us, keeping us safe. Local Corvette Club. You can see I'll just walk. Thanks for being out here, man. Thank you. i do a quick walk around our club trailer. So two years ago, we celebrated 50, uh, 50 years. So pretty, pretty cool. But some of our sponsors, Carlisle Events, Green uh, Cattell Meadows Greenhouse, Historic Smithville Village. Again information there for our sponsors spin back around here you've got Adelphia's restaurant American Collectors Insurance Mall Chevrolet and then another sponsor is um, AutoDirectCorvettes.com and then some of the things that we help support we support Toys for Tots the Chip Miller Amyloid Dosis Foundation which you know guys should know I'm a board member of this particular foundation and then the National Corvette Museum and speaking of Toys for Tots all the proceeds from this event today will go and benefit the local Toys for Tots in the area. So you can see we got all our trophies set up here. Two, three tables worth of trophies all ready to go. Frank Staff, our resident DJ in the back. We got 50-50 tickets here that are going to help benefit Toys for Tots. And then here we've got the Vinelands Veterans Home. Thanks for being out here, guys. Another one of the charities that we help support. Frank is nice enough to lower the volume as I walk by the speakers. <laughs> And then we've got food for everybody too. So we've got the Madison Pub is out here today. And uh, these guys are over in the Riverside area. Say hi, Madison Pub. Hi. Woo! So they're providing great breakfast and lunch for everybody that's here on site. Because a parking lot show, you know, you can only do so much because it's a parking lot. But Mall Chevy is really a gracious host for this event. And one, two, three, four rows of Corvettes, uh, not Corvettes, but cars, I should say. Um, and we've got a lot of Corvettes out here today. We try and put some of the older stuff up front. And as such, here's the 63 split window. If you're a Corvette fan, you know that this was the only year that that split window was offered. So really beautiful representation of what the 63 looks like. So again, you've got that 62 up front with the side gills only with the metal in the coves. 63, it's the only one with the split window. And a 67. The only way you can tell a 67 is got the reverse lights above the license plate. So you can tell without even looking at anything further, this is a 67 convertible done up in green with a black interior. Four speed, really nice car. And it's the smaller displacement motor because it's got the round air cleaner. The larger displacement motors have a triangle air cleaner there. So again, some of the newer modern muscle, 
Cadillac XLR. This is the North Star V8, but hardtop convertible built in Bowling Green, Kentucky, right alongside the C6 Corvette at the time. So really nice representation from Cadillac. And you can see back then, GM was adding these chiclets to all of their vehicles, trying to show that they're all together. So I'm gonna cruise past each row here a little bit, but just to try and bring you a little bit of the flavor here today, there are a ton of Corvettes here. We had a friendly competition with Lakes Corvettes Club to see who could bring more members out to each other's all General Motors car show. We brought about 30 cars, Corvettes, out to their show, which was in July. Today, they showed up with nearly 50 cars, 50 Corvettes. I think they're close to 44, 45 Corvettes. So they won our competition. So that means my president, Jeff Shaw, is gonna have to show up at one of their meetings in a pink tutu. So that's gonna be a sight to see. But beautiful Riviera here. We've seen this car in the past. How are you guys? There's the owners. Great representation, uh, Donna and her husband. Beautiful Buick. Look at this Bel Air, the 55. Look at the white interior in this thing. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. You know, obviously I have a modern car, but I absolutely love and pay homage to all of these beautiful, beautiful cars that have some age on them. And not only that, but to the, the owners that help maintain these things. They're not owners, they're caretakers because they do take a lot of care to get these things to this condition. So 69 Oldsmobile Hurst Olds, really cool car. You know, look at the gold striping on it all the way up, across the rear deck lid, across the roof, and then on the headrest too. Really, really cool. So let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think? What's your favorite car here today? Does something take you back? So you've got, you know, the original Hearst. Here's a modern day Hearst. So this is a modern day Oldsmobile, modern day. This is from the 80s, so early 80s, 1983 on this particular one. So again, cool, cool car. And then next to that, we move into some of the Corvettes. This is a 15 LT1 Z51 car. Nice car, with the brown interior, really, really nice. Is it shark gray? Shark gray. And then we got underneath, oh, look at the Stingray underneath. Very, very cool. So shark gray over the brown interior, really nice representation. And we also, this is also open to pickup trucks. So we have a 48 GMC FC 102, but I'm not even gonna pretend to know what the heck. All I know is it's pretty damn cool. Looks like a really cool paint job on this thing. It's got a wooden uh, trunk, uh, truck bed on this. Really, really cool car. Great, great representation. And then we've got a Ruby uh, C4 out here today. This is the 40th anniversary car. And what's cool is he's got the wheels mounted correctly. Way to go. <laughs> I've seen so many owners have the saw blade wheels spinning the other direction. So. Right, yeah, so you got to make sure your tire guys know how these... Don't want to go backwards. Exactly, so uh, really, really cool. And you can see the 40th anniversary logo there on the throttle body. And then again up here on the clamshell hood. So really nice, beautiful color. And that's the only year they offered that was for 93 for the 40th. 76 silver with red, really beautiful truck, beautiful car. And then we've got without <laughs> kind to say so. Uh, an 02 S10 Chevy S10 done up as a rat rod. Tracy. Really cool, really cool car. You're fine, Tracy. <laughs> Nothing to be sorry about. So we got a white, and I'm gonna say we're in the mid 70s. Yep, 74. And again, you can kind of tell it's a mid 70s because it's got the notch back window. Um, later years, this window ended up, the window became uh, more bulbous and came all the way to the back. So. 74 still has the notch back cool side pipes on it too and then next to that we've got let's see silver uh, again no side pipes again it has the notch back really really cool trying to see if it talks about the color steel city's gray and this is a 72 and again you can see back then they had the hidden wiper blades too so really really cool 
and the luggage racks on them again very period correct for the 70s and then you've got your chrome bumper versus your fiberglass bumper over there spin around we love having our friends from australia show up they didn't come all the way from australia but these are the holden built cars there's a uh, probably about four or five of them further down i think this was the first one to arrive and this thing just sounded gnarly when it pulled in so got a lot of aftermarket work done on this particular one so it's listed as a chevy caprice but it is so much more than that 2016 beautiful mid-engine that's the ceramic matrix done up with red cool camaro another zl1 again so this is a 2013 with the lsa motor really really nice and then you got a 442 trying to catch the year 71 on this particular one so oh my goodness eight track eight track on the dashboard he's got a whole stack of them there that is so cool very very cool and then we're going to come up next to a chevy uh chevelle malibu from 1967 really great looking paint job hopefully it comes through on the camera but a 327 v8 under the hood and again you got the vinyl top on it which really again period correct for that time frame beautiful representation man great looking car so, so really with the red line tires on it but you take a look inside of that blood red interior with a four speed on the floor such a cool car and you know this day and age with the manual transmissions that are dying breed it's you know that was a family car back then and then this stopped me in my tracks earlier today as i was walking by beautiful custom job on this 67 nova ss the side pipes on this thing and the paint job my goodness bright bright yellow engine cover or you know valve covers are done up in yellow as well and then take a look at the interior black and yellow and it's the automatic so this thing's gonna have some really really nice times on the drag strip nice and consistent with that automatic and gto and we've got a 67 blue again these were family cars back in the 60s guys you know automatic transmission the white interior no stinking airbags here heck no seat belts probably too back in the 60s <laughs> so and then we've got a chevy pickup truck 3100 really cool representation lowered on airbags it looks like look at the motor underneath this thing very very cool and again such a cool interior look at the wooden bed in this thing how are you sir and here's the aforementioned holdens that we were talking about so we got the australian love with the australian flag going on here today uh, again i used to have the pontiac g8 gxp which i absolutely love so it looks like there was a holding club that got a got a couple cars out here today so thank you to them as well but you don't know if you don't know the history these things are built in australia and they're listed as a commodore over in australia and they're offered with a supercharger over there this fellow looks like he put the e, uh, edelbrock supercharger on top of his regular uh chevy v8 this is a chevy ss here in the united states and then pan back out another chevy ss that again is done up with the uh, holden badging and the australian flag really cool el camino great looking car i actually judged this one and this is a 77 a really really nice representation again in a custom wooden bed in the back of this thing really all original original paint so such a cool representation you know these things were work cars work trucks and they still look this good chevelle ss from 1970 blue vinyl top white interior looks looks great ss chevelle camaro guys i'm just making it down row one you can see where we're kind of at there's the chevy dealership i don't want this video to be an hour long so i'm going to continue to walk the show and let you check out all the really cool cars that are here.
Well, hopefully you enjoyed that walk around this car show today. It's all General Motors car and truck show hosted at Mall Chevrolet in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, put on by the original Garden State Corvette Club, uh, which is my local club. So I want to say first thank you to the officers and members of the Garden State Corvette Club for coming out here today to work the show. Thank you to Mall Chevrolet for being such a gracious host. And thank you to all the car owners that came out here today to support this event because all the proceeds, every, every, all the proceeds go to Toys for Tots from this event. So thank you. Especially a big thank you to the folks from Lake Corvette Club. They brought out over 40 Corvettes here today, which <laughs> made for an inch. They were nearly half the car show today, but uh, it was funny. Guys pulling in in a Pontiac or cat. Why are all these Corvettes here? It's not a Corvette show. It certainly looked like a Corvette show here today. So again, thank you to all the owners that came out and brought these cars out today. They're all beautiful in their own right. And again, I give credit to all those owners with these cars that are, you know, that are even 20 years old trying to maintain those, not to mention cars that are 50 and 60 years old, uh, getting them out here and enjoying it. Beautiful weather today. Hopefully we have a repeat of this again for our Smithville Corvette show. I'll put a link to that down below, but if you're in the area, that's the third Sunday in October in Smithville Village, just outside of Atlantic City, and that is for Corvettes only. And then coming up in the coming weeks, we've got the Sioka Toys for Tots Fun Run, another Corvette show, Peddler's Village, another Corvette show coming up. So the fall season is upon us here, even though it's still summer technically for another couple days, but uh, get out of your garage, get out and drive your cars enjoy them that's why you have these cars so again thanks for watching please consider subscribing give the video a thumbs up if you liked it today and please send uh send the youtube channel out to all your car friends thanks for watching